These young people are helping to tell the story of truth and reconciliation through art. They are helping create drums as part of the 101 Duegans, a Living Hearts legacy project. The project was inspired by a desire to honor those who didn't make it from residential schools and its survivors, while also finding a pathway forward. We wanted to honor the, uh, the memory, like not to lose the memory, but to honor um, those young ones that went off to residential school and didn't make it home. Dewey gun is the Ojibwe word for drum and it literally translates to mean living heart. The Milton Public Library's workshop at its main library saw participants learn about wood burning. Participants then used a technique to etch the names of those who died because of residential schools inside the drums. 13 names will be wood burned onto each drum. 101 drums will be made with the first 100 bearing the names of those who died as a result of residential schools. The 101st drum will feature the name of residential school survivors. That narrative that seems to, it, it, it lingers in a way that it makes it hard uh, for, for people to, to move on and it seems like the, the conversation um, needs needs some kind of a, a positive influx. The workshop at the main library was part of MPL's Hand Me Down project, which aims to pass down generational knowledge from seniors to young people. The project is funded through the federal government's New Horizons for Seniors program grant. The grant gives organizations up to $25,000 for initiatives that promote engagement within communities that feature seniors and other generations. This is just such a meaningful project. You know, there's young people in there learning about wood burning, learning about Indigenous history and culture, learning a little bit more about the residential school, um, horrible legacy of our country, but also talking about the future. Milton Mayor Gordon Cran says he's thankful that young people today are able to have learning opportunities that teach about Canada's treatment of Indigenous peoples. And I know when I was going to school, there was very little, if any, taught about some of the First Nations and the Indigenous people. I think we've come a long way in the last 50, 60, 70 years with regards to informing young people. Some of our history, as I mentioned earlier on, wasn't all that great. The workshop at the main library is just one of many with various organizations. The 101 Dewey Guns Project is currently looking for artists all across the country to paint the drums after they are assembled. This is about reaching out to all Indigenous and non-Indigenous artists alike from coast to coast to coast. And we've heard a little bit from uh, non-Indigenous artists who are very, not well, they're somewhat, maybe from somewhat to very concerned that they don't feel that it's their place to be part of a project like this. We need you. We want you. But more importantly, we need you. We need your voice. Um, we know the beautiful works that you are already accomplished with in your art form. And we, we need you to speak through that art. More information on the project is available at 101dewayguns.com. For Halton News in Milton, I'm Edward Jan.